Hey everyone, welcome to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today we are playing some ARK Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. And as you may have noticed, we are out on the trike, and we are looking at some pteranodons, and that is because it is about time that we tamed ourselves a flyer. Uh, I would prefer an RG. I think they're a little bit tougher, um, a little bit bigger, and they can carry a little more, but we are not quite at that level yet. So I think we're gonna go for a pteranodon today, and I believe one of these ones, it may be the one way out there. Let's see if I can pull out my spyglass here. Where is it? Yep, this one is level 17. Um, now that's not like super high, but it's also not level two or three like most of the other ones I've seen so far today. So I think we're gonna wait for this one to land, and then we're gonna go ahead and attempt to tame him. I do have some bolas on me. I do have a pteranodon saddle. You are not the one I want. All right, so it may take a while for him to come in here. I'm just gonna kind of hang out on the beach and wait for him. And yeah, I guess I will bring you guys back when we are about to start taming this guy. See you in a bit. Okay guys, this pteranodon has landed. I have my bolas. There we go. Bolas should now be working, so we are gonna come up and just trank this guy in the head. It should only take a couple of arrows based on, did that not fire? There we go, yep. Based on what I know about the base game, pteranodons don't have a lot of torpor. This is perfect, okay. Uh, I'm gonna make sure I put this away. I don't wanna waste my trank arrows. Now I do have some raw meat on me which is what I use to tame pteranodons. Of course, dodo kibble is preferable, um, but we have not gotten into kibble on this game yet. So, raw meat is what we are going to use. And of course, if we need narcotics, I do have a few. Um, and if we are gonna need more than that, I have the trike and we can go and get some narco berries. So, we have options. All right, it's a cool looking pteranodon. I like the white and the brown, looks nice. I like how he's kind of like half buried in the sand. We uh, we did a good job on knocking this one out. Okay, it looks like we may need some narcotics on this guy. This is a pretty slow taming bar, as meats probably usually are. I'm gonna grab the trike and grab a few berries while I wait, just in case. I'd rather not be taken by surprise. Luckily we are on the beach, so I think we're in a safe enough area that I don't have to worry too, too much about this guy getting eaten. Um, there's not a ton of allosaurs in the area anymore since I've gotten my base built up a little bit now. And since the person has moved in next to me, that's helped a lot with keeping the uh, crazy spawns down in this area, at least a little bit. All right, go check on him again. It looks like we might be having a heat wave on the island right now with that yellow cast to the sky. Pretty sure that's indicative of like a warmer temperature than normal. Okay, how are we doing? Yeah, we are definitely losing some consciousness here. I'm gonna take some of that. We'll do have my narcotics if we need more. All right, I'm gonna try these narco berries first. Oh no, is this a thing? Okay. It looks like there is a bug where when you tame a creature, um, certain creatures, because this hasn't happened with all of them, but if you try to feed them narco berries to keep them unconscious, it switches it to their taming food until they eat a taming food and then they switch back. So yeah, this happened with the first Sarko I tamed too. Um, it's kind of an issue. Okay, 7.9%. That's okay, we should still be fine. We have a lot of narcotics on us, so I may not keep all of these on him. But we should be fine in terms of uh, the amount of time it'll take to tame this guy and how many narcotics we're gonna need, because narcotics are pretty powerful. All right, so I will bring you guys back when this is up. Um, I'm super excited about this pteranodon and being able to fly. Uh, hopefully, hopefully they are 
decent and can keep us in the air long enough to actually do some exploring because I would really love to see more of the island than we already have. All right, I will see you guys in just a little bit. Okay, guys, so the Pteranodon is now up, which is awesome. Unfortunately, it is still a little bit dark out, but that is okay. So I'm going to go ahead and equip the saddle on this guy. Um, and the trike should be fine for just a second. Uh, I just really want to see what we're working with. All right. Okay, so swipe down to land. You crawl around, and then you swipe up to fly. And then it's pretty much like swimming from there on out. You kind of have to point the screen where you want to go on the right and basically move forward or stop on the left. All right, that's actually not too bad. Um, I was afraid that the flying controls were gonna be hard to use and that does not seem to be the case. So I think the first thing we need to do is get the trike back to base and that may actually, now that I think about it, be easier to do on the trike. You should be following me. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to have the Pteranodon follow me while I get the trike back to the base. And then from there, we are going to take a little test drive on this Pteranodon. All right. Yep, he's coming with me. Good. Okay, I will see you guys in just a few minutes. All right, so we are back at base, and as you can see, I've done a little bit of work here. Uh, I've got up a few behemoth gates around the area, which just kind of gives us a little bit more room to move around, and I do intend to, at some point, use this part of the water as part of our base, so I did just kind of leave it open down here. It should still be enough to keep everything out, especially since we have a neighbor here who has recently tamed a rex. Um, and that's why I have the dangerous area sign is because of their their dinos Not because there's actually anything dangerous trying to get us All right, so we are gonna hop on this pteranodon And go for a little bit of a fly um, I really want to test out How good the stamina is oh, it's bad The stamina is really really bad Is that a giga? That is a giga. That's terrifying. What level are you? 22. Oh, we are getting out of here. We don't have great stam, and I don't want to land anywhere near the giga. Although I do kind of want to look at it. Because I'm very silly, and I feel like this will kill me. Oh, there he is. Man, he is, like, not very far up the hill either. All right, so... I'm gonna just go up here a little ways and look for a place to land and get some stam back. So the stamina is gonna be a huge issue. Um, as I suspected it was going to be on a bird like a pteranodon, the stam is just not great. It's really low, the weight's really low, the health is really low, everything's really low. And that's because they can fly, All right? That's like the main reason why just ARC does not want to give you any advantage from the air if it can help it. Um, the new TLC past RG is the most useful flyer in the base game at the moment, but that's only because it has weight buffs and can carry things. Um, and currently, the Pteranodon, I don't see any way that it could carry anything, especially since we have... Oh, yes. Okay, so you can still carry stuff. So I wonder, I'm going to go and try and find something to pick up without dying here. Let me go over to this side of the mountain and just run away from anything that looks like it could kill us. There's aloes. This is a bad idea. Um, okay, I'm going to come down here. Dodix. Dodix are safe. All right. Just enough to get the stand back. Um, hopefully nothing is chasing us. Yep, we'll just hang out here with these guys for a minute. And then we are gonna go find something that we can pick up. Um, 
As far as I know, pteranodons cannot pick up anything too big. So I'm really just looking for like a dodo or something. Something small, maybe a compi or a dillo. Ooh, there's some lag. I wonder if we picked anything up. No. Okay, so there is a dillo here. He is really close to the water. Oh, the lag is bad. Okay, did we get him? Yes, okay, we were able to pick up a dillo. Awesome, so you can actually carry stuff in this game. You just have to swipe up as if you were taking off on the left side of the screen. Um, and that, instead of doing a jump while you're flying, that will do the alternate attack, which in this case is a carry. And then if you swipe up again, yes, you let them go. Excellent. Um, oof, I'm getting some really bad lag here. So I may go try to find a safe place to sit for a second, maybe on top of this person's base. Hopefully they don't mind. All right. So... I'm not sure where all the lag is coming from. It could be from all the stuff. Oh, and we can't attack while we're on the ground. That's, that's not cool. So we have this drone after us. There we go. We were able to kill him. Um, yeah, so that is a problem. We can't actually attack while we're on the ground, which is a little unfortunate, because if you land, you're kind of stuck. So if you run out of stam, you're really stuck. Um, and there is a lot of lag when you load in bases or anything like that. I'm actually afraid that my game is going to crash and I'm going to lose everything very suddenly. So I'm going to go, like, pretty slow here. Oh man, these guys have a really built up base. All right, um, I may actually go up this way just a little bit. And then we're gonna have to land again for some stam. Oh boy, uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys are getting that, but it is super laggy. Um, yeah, there's definitely still some work to be done here in terms of server support and all of that, I think. Because that is, that is kind of a mess. It's unfortunate, because I was really excited to be able to fly. And then I don't know if it's literally the base, or if it is just that uh, flying is just super laggy. Alright, here we go. Excellent. So this is actually pretty cool. Um, we can pick stuff up. That's good to know, because now the RG will be super useful. I don't think the RG can still pick up the Dodic and the Anki, unfortunately, because these have not been TLC passed like the dinos on PC have. Um, these are the old model RG, which means they should have the old abilities as far as everything goes. But we will be testing that out when we tame an RG, just to be sure. Excellent. Yeah, I am really afraid of that Giga. Um, they do like to spawn on Far's Peak, which I had not thought about when I originally built my base here. But that's okay. Alright, we're gonna come down here. Oh my goodness, the lag is just terrible. There we go. I think, I think it has something to do with the flying and not with the actual dinos, because I have not been getting lag like that all day until I hopped on this Pteranodon. Uh, we're going to keep leveling Stam. I think, man, there's just not a lot of Stam. I would really like to get up to like a thousand Stam. I don't think that'll actually happen, but it would be, it would be ideal. All right, so you still have some meat, so you'll be fine for a while. All right. Cool. So, let's see, what else were we going to do today? Um... Actually, I think I want to do a little bit more exploring because there is a pursuit that we can do called Pillars in the Sky. And so this quest actually wants you to explore all three obelisks. Now, we don't have the fur to explore the blue obelisk quite yet, but it does log that you've explored an obelisk at all. So if we are very careful not to die, 
or accidentally lag while we're doing this, um, we might actually be able to make it down to the red obelisk on this bird. And that would be kind of amazing. All right, let's see. Yeah, it is kind of in the opposite corner of the map, but I really do want to visit the obelisk and tick off this box. So I think I'm going to bring you guys back when we get there because um, I will just be kind of flying around until then and looking for safe places to gain back stam while we level this pteranodon up. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited about this. This is going to be really good if we don't get eaten by a giga. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually go up the hill to not get eaten by the giga. He can't climb very well. As far as I know. I'm keeping my fingers crossed on that one. Hopefully he also doesn't wander down the beach and towards our base. Awesome. So that is quite a ways. Um, yeah, but we're going to do it anyway. I will see you guys in a little bit when we make it to the Red Obelisk. Okay, guys. Here we are at the Red Obelisk. It has not taken that long to get over here, certainly less time than it would have taken to get here on a trike. And this is really good. Um, this means that we can actually, yep, check this off on our little explorer quest thing. Um, and as soon as we get fur armor, we will be visiting the blue obelisk and seeing what the reward is for this pursuit. Um, but we do obviously need some fur and some pelt to make the fur before we can do any of that. So in the meantime, what is this? Is this a person? Oh, it's a person. Cool. Yeah, in the meantime, this is just kind of uh, where we're at in terms of leveling and things like that. We just aren't quite high enough level to do some of those other things. Now flying is still really buggy as I had suspected. I did actually end up having a crash partway over here and luckily we survived. We weren't too high up and it logs you back in on the ground, which is great. Um, so that's, that's not too bad, but just be aware that flying is not exactly the smooth experience that it should be at the moment. Um, it really sucks when you lag out in the air and everything crashes and then you're in a weird area and maybe you land next to a carno that's killing you or all sorts of stuff. Um, I have had this kind of thing happen to me before and it's really, it's no fun. So yeah, I think that's gonna do it for today, guys. Thanks for coming out, thanks for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed. So yeah, um, signing off, this is the Iguana. Uh, please do hit that like button if you enjoyed and subscribe if you want to see more ARC mobile content like this. So I will see you guys in the next one.